He's on 19, 107 for 7 Australia. And he's given him out LBW. The quicker ball, the short one. Not unlike, in fact, the ball that he took his first wicket with, that of Ian Chappell, that's slightly further up. And five wickets to Phil Edmonds in his first test match. The last two Australian wickets, Dennis Lilly and Jeff Thompson, fell to John Snow to give him an excellent performance. Three for 22 from 18.5 overs and seven maidens, but a thoroughly disappointing performance from the Australians, all out for 135, 153 behind, and Phil Edmonds, 20 overs, seven maidens, five for 28 on his debut. Well, England made great strides in their second innings. We join play now after they've added 55 without loss. Max Walker is the bowler, and Barry Wood is taking strike. <sighs> Very close, indeed, yes. Barry Wood, second time in the match. That really was a piece of misjudgment. Max Walker's big in-swinger, not playing a shot. He's bowled him. Now the quicker ball there, pushed through. Edrich trying to pull it away. Never really quite short enough for him to successfully make that shot. And the departure of John Edrich, the second Englishman out here in the second innings. He made 35. And that's an even better one. No need to chase that. Four runs, Mallet, his first ball back over the wicket rather than round. That was a good stroke from David Steele. It's Lily coming in now from the far end. And that's it this time. No second chance offered to him. Greg Chappell taking a good catch there. Went very, very sharply off the bat. And a familiar flash outside the off stump from Fletcher again, causing his downfall. And giving a first second in his wicket to Dennis Lilly. Greg now facing uh, Lily. That's a confident way to get off the mark. Holding that in swing around on the leg side. Nicely timed shot, nudging it away. And the pace of Lily is seeing that ball speed away for four. Thompson now to Greg. There's a full pitch, steered away nicely by Greg plus Gilmore. Moving on with a second boundary, taking his score on to eight. Well, that's a good delivery. It's four runs. But that was a very good piece of bowling from Lilly in the middle of a good spell. Beat Tony Gregg there with pace and movement off the pitch. Good shot. And there's the answer from Tony Gregg. Big smile there. Lily had a few words with him when he edged that one past leg stump and uh, that was the perfect answer. Oh, it's a genuine half volley. Firmly hit through mid-off. Thompson chasing it, giving it away. So at last, David Steele finds the boundary. He's beaten Gilmore this time, much to the relief of David Steele, because that single takes him through to yet another 50. And David Steele is Northampton trick wicketer, acknowledging the applause of this crowd. What a consistent performer he's been.